part two. I'm uh, now stuck with the part when that girl said 17. So okay, this was beyond coincidence. It's like a clear, clear case. And I went out. Uh, one of uh, one of guys followed me. We talked. I, I came in and uh, approached that uh, Illuminati guy I met earlier that day, but I had no idea. It, it was a couple, two young guys from Oslo, Norway. And he told me, like, he looked at me, he said, now you know. And we took a seat and he said, we are speeding up, we are speeding up. What would you do? And uh, I told him what I think about the whole depopulation thing and whatever. And um, I remember, like, he was like pointing to his mobile phone and like pointing like this and I have to say this, I have to say this, this is all coincidence, this is all coincidence, you know, giving me a hint that I have to agree with him and eventually I, you know, I understood the game for some reason something just getting recorded or whatever. So, so this was my first contact and this was in, uh, in May 2012. And things, things changed. Since then, in uh, in um, 2013, I, I went back to monastery, and uh, uh, my my of course my mother changed the <laughs> idea about growing marijuana when I came home from Thailand, and so eventually, actually, after three months being in Croatia, which is very depressing, really, uh, you don't want to go there. A apart if like loaded with the money and you know want to spend the holiday, it's a great place for you, but you know, <laughs> not a place to live, really. And eventually I came back to Thailand, uh, back to the monastery. Back then I was Buddhist. And uh, I got Morgellons disease in, uh, in uh, July 2013. And this, this was like a hard hit, really. You know, they can be like very itchy. This is why I have uh, such a short hair. It's, it's easy to wash them off. And, uh, well, I know that you would like to know more about monastery, but all the topic of Buddhism gonna come later on in my other updates, but not now. Uh, what's gonna happen to me uh, is um, thanks to thanks to Malanga's technique, I, I managed to connect myself with the soul, and uh, and I got my first big vision about how the whole thing actually started that truth which created the lie as I could, sorry sorry about this <laughs> I, I I know that you guys are like very suspicious like uh, pe people make movements with their hands when they're talking so about uh, don't get paranoid okay I notice it myself and when I'm watching what people say I always watch about these little things and uh, where was I so let, let me let me now say like the most important thing for me is that that thing with, with what happened with the Lucifer in February in March uh, 2013 I've been speaking about this in my in my first video and this was like a like a you know just it, it's been like going on for you know like forever that fighting of Lucifer and his attempts to force me to join in the the order of Illuminati because I'm already there you know. and uh, you know, the whole thing was very actually traumatic for me. Uh, it, it, you know, he's he's really heavy when he's pressing, and when he's like pushing you, it's like. <laughs> and um, and then after that, and in that process, uh, I had some statistics when I was measuring the DNA activations. They just speed it up like totally and <laughs> here is the background and they really speed it up big time and some of them some of them been like very very pleasant they've been they've been um, like my hands been vibrating like like vibration here and then vibration in torso this been very nice. Sometimes I would like to s like feel like flying on the air, like floating, like filled with the prana, and just like, <gasps> and and I had these feelings of like my head finally, you know, being lifted, <gasps> uh, 
about the water and wow this has been nice but some DNA activation has been hitting me in really really bad places and places like uh, Illuminati school where I was working Sarasas Prachauti you on on uh, on I will upload actually on my tum tumblr I will upload uh, uh, sacrificial you know ground pictures <laughs> you really have to see it to believe it to see how how how, how big and precise is you know triangle and the first circle and a bigger circle and and, and the whole thing these activations been some of them been happening in the school and this was like whoa you know like from you're like opening up but you know these bad energies they are all around and they just bah 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 you know they go hitting you and I felt like really dizzy and and, and once in a, a sky train Bangkok BTS back then I was living in Bangkok Thailand in a I came like a couple of months One, one really, really, really like hit me, like strong vibration in my body, strong, and then just all this, you know, I, I could like really feel the Wi-Fi, you know, the, the the system around me and like really hitting me, hitting my aura, and I was like, you know, I had all, I had again this feeling of dying, and everything I was getting whiter and whiter and whiter around me and body is vibrating and okay this is it next step I have to go on my knees I went on my knees it was it was it was packed you know BTS was packed with auras with people it's a rush hour everybody going to job going to work I was also going to work as a teacher and then then that happened but the people helped me out. They, they found me a seat and after like 10 -ish minutes I was like getting better and, and so on. So they, they can, you know, DNA activations, they can, uh, they can be tough and especially they can be tough if, if, uh, if uh, huge blocks of, uh, of trauma in you, of uh, dark energy uh, moving because then you're gonna go through the whole uh, ego redefinition thing like who am I? Because we are our memories as well, yeah. And and this can be painful on its own, but ju you just have to add in the in the calculation the the, the pressure from outside. Uh, it can be psychic attack, or it can al also be simply Wi-Fi attack. Especially if you have Morgans like me, then that means that the system, aka the Satan, is very well aware of. Uh, changings in my biofield and of course it uh, it uh, acts accordingly so I'm gonna have this simply Wi-Fi attacks from from the cell towers and, and Wi-Fi devices and I'm just gonna feel it uh, especially in my uh, genital area genitalia uh, urinary area and uh, it, it, it's like it's like really really And it's hitting me very, of course, in the area where infection is as well, and in, in other parts of the body, you just feel it's burning, 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 burning. So this is the torture. Some of us have to have to go through. And guys, it has nothing to do with karma and all this, uh, you know, bullshit theories. If you, if you heard a theory from official channel like a religion or official channel like uh, some guru, which is like so backed up by the system, then it's a bullshit. Okay, it's got to be the bullshit. Uh, where we live, this planet, is like 5 or 6 percent of total population are infested with uh, demons, they're like under control. And then you have all this like hierarchy in the fourth and, and so on dimensions, and everybody preying on the energy of the, of the people of, uh, of the earth. So of course, all these things about, uh, you know, you create your own reality and it's your karma and all that. No, it's just a bullshit really uh, what what is really going on you get born without a memory you go through your life as a as a as a as a as an animal virtually no knowledge and you've been hit left and right constantly okay 
and this is how Lu should be taken, this is how energy should be taken, Th this is what's the system all about. And all this ignorance and all that stuff, it's just to keep you there. And if you start investigating something, then you're gonna get the official theories, and then you're gonna have like a, like a, you know, like Alex Jones and, and, and guys like that, which are obviously Illuminati. And I, okay, I have to, I really have to speak about Alex Jones. So first things first, Illuminati they can read minds, simple as that. And uh, Alex Jones had walked into Bohemian Grove and filmed the whole ritual and nobody is noticing him. Guys, this is such a BS, it's beyond, it's, it's just beyond believable level. And I was buying this, I was really buying this and I was like fascinated by the Jones, how he entered that, you know, ritual and wow, finally there is evidence and so on. But then, you know, after, after Amsterdam, after 2012, oh boy, I couldn't just, you know, buy that anymore, especially like if I could like spot them in my neighborhood and around them. With some, I actually managed to talk uh, more or less, not, not that much about the whole thing. But, uh, you know, walking into Bohemian Grove, walking in, in, in within the group of hundreds and hundreds of Illuminati is, is you know, imagine, imagine that the Pope is having a mass on uh, St. Peter's Square and you're walking in completely naked with a sign, look here, and, you know, arrow pointing your penis, right? And, like, nobody's noticing you because they're all so busy looking at the Pope. Bullshit. Uh, everybody will notice you with the psychic abilities, and that's really majority of Illuminati. Not all of them, really. I, I have to say not all of them, because you have like a higher Illuminati with the, with the higher aura and a vibe and everything, and then you have like really lower types, which, uh, which don't have, uh, that I notice these uh, psychic abilities. Or I think like, maybe they're like completely soulless as well, so that's why they don't have it. So that's, that, that, that's why many people, uh, find a person now or human person that's why many of them have synthetic telepathy which is working I think quite quite fine so yeah that was that was the second the second thing about the Alex Jones and uh, that's it for now uh, if, if you if you learned anything from here um, subscribe, like, uh, make a comment. I hope that comment not gonna be the troll comment. Uh, we know those guys, and yeah, they have to do their jobs, you know. And some of them are like genuine idiots, really. <laughs> so, you know, if you're a troll, please don't troll my website. Uh, if you troll it, I gonna hit you astrally, so you're gonna you're gonna bounce back. Fair warning, right? Ah, uh, yeah, one of these little things I, I managed to learn. Uh, Thanks to you. So victory with us over and out, and uh, things are gonna get better. I know.